All right, man. Earl Spence says he needs a title fight next, and he's not going to take a tune up. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the box news welterweight playlist. You want know, the dogs at the stairs? I can't see. So here we go. He said it on Twitter. Um, you know, he said I need a fight for a title next. Tune up fights are for guys who want to share themselves. You know, and at the end of the day, like I said before, there's no way that you know that he had a detached retina. You know, maybe partial tear, tear, something like that. But people seem to not be questioning Spence, and that's one thing I don't like about the social media era. You know, it allows people who don't even know what they're talking about. You know, you know, to know the severity of an eye injury. You look at Abner Maras. He had a detached retina, and the other eye got messed up. Now he's rolling around on his own. So people, and like at the end of the day, why would Bernard? He ain't had nothing else bad to say about Spence from this point, from that point, before that. Why would Bernard just come out and say the injury is fake? But nonetheless, man, people not gonna question somebody like Spence. Spence laid the groundwork for him not to be questioned from being fired out of the Dallas area, and then also. Grabbing everybody an interview. So, like I said before, man, Bud ain't doing himself no favors. But you don't, for me to like you as a fighter, you don't have to do interviews with me. Me, like somebody as a fighter, you know, as long as they don't do anything outside the ring that's, you know, you know, a heinous crime or whatever, I, I like you with your style. I like your mentality. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you, you pose to like about the fighter. But they like a nigga how many chains he got on or his shoes or the watch or, what do you got to say on black issues, which is cool. Because my mom at least smoke on black issues. But, you know, I fell in love with, with boxing based on the uh, the contact, the, 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 the glory for the sports. It was, it was supposed to be the ultimate gentleman sports hands game. Guys like Mike Tyson, guys like James Tony, guys like Roy Jones and Tino Trinidad, you know, even Oscar De La Hoya when he fought, you know, that this era is a drop off from there, and now you got Errol Spence saying that no tune ups, you know, we won a championship, but you just tore your retina two months ago, literally. And people saying it's been longer. No, who guys just fought two months ago, you know what I'm saying? And now he all said, Imagine this is Bud. Oh, Bud faked the eye injury. Everybody be saying the same thing that I'm saying, you know, and he already know he bought the lineup or Dennis Ugas. He already know he about to line up Ugas, and he about to get them three belts from Ugas. And he going, who can I run to when I need money? He going to run this Canelo. Then he going to come back down and try to fight Crawford. He going to do the Kill Brook. He going to do the Mikey Garcia. Y'all going to give him a pass, man. I'm going to get on my nerve. This dude openly ducked. Now Fred want to issue a weak apology. Like, nigga, we been, you knew this. You was mad at Bud because... Bud didn't get all an interview when you was working when he was at a Pacific fight. I think it was the postal fight they said. He won't give you an interview. Have you heard people saying they should strip Spence? Spence ain't fought since last December, bro. He ain't fought in the whole year. You don't hear nobody say strip Spence. Or Keith Thurman Jr. And then they gonna put a $70 price tag on the Ugas fight. Man, I wish I would order that fight. You know, if he ain't fighting who you, you know, if he ain't fighting guys like Canelo, why would I order it? If he ain't going to fight Charlo, why would I order it? Why would I order it? He said, I need a title fight. Just say, nigga, I want Ugas. Because you know you don't want to fight. But and that's why people don't understand when Bud said, well, I moved on from the fight. You know, people don't understand the talks that's been going on for years about this fight and how they've been jucking and jiving around. He going, I'm telling you, either plan one, planning three options. He loses belt or five, maybe four or five. He get re-injured. Or the more reasonable options is that he's going to he's going to beat Ugas and demand a, a crazy split. They say, "Well, Bud, you Bud, you ain't worth." That's why Bud shouldn't even have come over to PBC for what? You got Sean Porter. Who else you want to get? Keith Thurman don't want to fight. Danny moved up. You know, and people talk that black power. I hate me, don't care shit about black people. If he did, he'd make these, these dudes fight each other and put the money up for black fights. Then, or the second option is he's going to run up and fight Canelo and probably come back down and try to fight Bud. You have a built-in excuse. I never liked Earl Spence to begin with, to be honest, bro. You know, in the LDBC, when I was there hyping me up, I never liked that nigga. I never, I thought he was, a, he was, he, I thought he had an overrated, I thought he was very overrated, bro. 
And then I got caught up in, you know, he want to fight everybody else. And I knew it was a lie. He a lie and the truth ain't in him. He never had no intentions on fighting everybody. That's why I'm glad that Keith Thurman did what he did to him. Because even him beating Ugas and who, who he just beat uh, Ugas and who he beat for the WBC title? Sean Porter, they don't hold no weight at all unless Sean Porter beat Terrence Crawford. And that's not out of the boot, out of the wild. Sean Porter's a good fighter, but he beat a beat down Kill Brook for his title and he beat Sean Porter. And Sean Porter got an opportunity to make him look really good. Other than that, his 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 reign ain't been he didn't fight none of the guys. He didn't fight Pacquiao. You know, he, you know, he didn't fight a prime Pacquiao or but none of them fought a prime Pacquiao. You know, the recent, but he didn't fight Pacquiao. He didn't fight Keith. You know what I'm saying? He fought Danny Garcia late. He fought Sean Porter. Sean Porter gonna go down his best win. It was a regular then fight. But just go ahead and say you want Ooh, guys, bro. You going around something about I want a championship fight. I want a title fight next and and this, that, and the third. We already know you want Ooh, guys. You're not gonna fight, bud. He had, if that eye is injured, that bitch falling out that night. Your eye gonna be cocked like a pistol. That's the honest truth. All he doing, people still gonna run and, and drink his bath water, say, Oh, you know, Spence is a great fighter. You know what I'm saying? He said the mandatory is on a tune up. He said already in order. No, he gonna fight Ugas. That's not, I heard that's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? My boy Ronnie said he ain't stupid. He's he gonna stay avoiding the killer from Omaha. W basic Ugas. He fighting Ugas, man. Money talks, bullshit walks. How about that? That's what I heard. I heard he fight new guys. Take it for what you mean. No PBC. They control stay on this too. So they can tell stay on this. Catch a cold, nigga. They gonna, I heard they're going to make that fight. I could be wrong. My information could be wrong. But like I said before, it is what it is. Don't come out here and try to troll people knowing you. Are, and I've been doing this for years. And people got mad because I told the truth. I've been a very objective channel. I've been very objective. I can't say no bias. It's always a bias. Especially if two fighters fight in the ring, I really like. You know, nine times out of ten, if they even or two fighters even, you know, everybody. But I'm, but I try to be very objective. Earl Spence, he been doing this for years, and people at PBC be feeding people the information and telling people what's going on. You know, and if they really knew what happened with the car accident, they they would strip him. And I say it again, if they really knew what happened with the car accident, they would strip him. You know, but it is what it is. I'm not trying to expose nobody. Now. I just want to see the best fighting the best. And he, 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 he talked all that shit about Keith Thurman. Took the baton and did the same thing Keith Thurman did. Tell me I'm lying. He took the baton and did the same thing Keith Thurman did. Keith Thurman got in a car accident. He got in a car accident. Keith Thurman was out at least a year. I think Keith Thurman was out like, what was Keith Thurman out like 18 months? The first time you see, you know, and then you come out here and troll and troll people who know the truth. So Keith Thurman was off. Hold on. No, he went off. He came right back before the shine. I mean, Danny. Oh, yeah, he was off two years. So I thought he had a gap between Danny and Sean. But like I said before, man, Keith Thurman still a better fighter than Spence was at his peak. And Spence still got to prove at his peak. If he beat, if he beat, you know, Canelo, you can't say nothing. He, the, he, you know, all the guys we name, he the best fighter. But Sean Porter, the best name on his resume. And Sean Porter can change that. He could be a super name on his resume. He can beat Bud. But Spence ain't no Spence ain't no real fucking person, bro. He ain't no real nigga, bro. Bud a real nigga. People just get mad at Bud because he don't want to speak to nobody. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Marshawn Lynch didn't, didn't praise the media because they twisted the story about him. People praise the same people praise Marshawn Lynch for the same thing. But let's be real. You want to fight Ugas. And if Bud said, I'll come back in April or May, you going to put your tail between your legs. And that's what's going to happen. And Derrick James, when you got somebody like Derrick James who know the history of boxing, who know the sport, still working nine to five, amazing some training. When you got him speaking like you don't hear Derrick James speaking like that about Jermail opponents. 
downplaying Jamil opponents. You don't hear Derrick James speaking like that. Well, all of a sudden, oh, Crawford ain't this, Crawford ain't that. Oh, I, I beat Bo Mac. I put it's all I talk. I would respect Spence if he came out and said, Nigga, I'm scared. I respect him a lot more. But he but he not come on, man. He he don't want to fight nobody. You know. And and I respect that, but I will I respect the real reason. If he came out and said, you know what, man, you know, I ain't trying to fight Bud, man. It's too high risk, not enough money. Niggas just turn that in. Bud gotta get his name up. This well, Sean Porter was high risk. How Sean Porter, how Sean Porter won. Danny Garcia don't bring a fan to the team. The Puerto Ricans don't fuck with Danny Garcia. You know, Luis Colazo. Did he fight Luis Colazo? No, I'm talking about Chris Algieri. You know, but it's his, it's his prerogative. It's his option. He a grown man, but he he out here lying to people. He out here lying to people, bro. People think Ugas is, Ugas is going to fight him next. PBC controls the onus. They control Jamal James, who fought his half of the tournament uh, next this Saturday. You know, are y'all stupid? Y'all think they only just ain't, can just pop up sick and out him and give him some money to drop out? Absolutely. And if Spence Ugas winner get Jamal James, and if Spence when Spence beat up Ugas, Spence just turned the belt in. Man, I don't care about that, man. Ugas was in talks to fight Bud first. That's what people don't know. Whatever he asked for, I forget the number. If I, I don't know if he even knew the number. It was too much. Real spit. You know, but hey, I'm mean, going to listen. You know, so, but Superman Spence is, is a fraud. Been telling y'all that. But hey, like, whatever it is, it is what it is. Shout out to World Toy Box News Playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. My social media links in the description. Reach me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You want to advertise channel video request, chop it up. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJ Good313. Then most CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Make some donate thumbs up, share the video. Hit the bell icon on notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. Let me know what you think. Conversation piece.